Gavin Pierce, 21, is a college student in Los Angeles with a passion for activism. The film school student was integral in the passing of AB 19 in 2017, a California bill that declared that the first year of community college would be free for state residents. His enthusiasm for community outreach and peaceful protest propelled him to get involved with the March for Our Lives, and now he's helped create something incredible. Gavin spoke with Hollywood Life about his part in organizing the March for Our Lives LA, held March 24, and why every student should consider getting involved. Working with teenagers was a new experience for Gavin, but their age and relative lack of experience with political activism wasn't a roadblock. It's honestly really refreshing working with teens because of their level of energy and passion. Gavin told Hollywood Life exclusively. It's nice working with people like that who are just generally excited to be at this event, and excited to be exercising what, for most of them, is their first time doing any sort of community organizing. It's really inspiring to see people from like 14 all the way up to mid-20s getting involved in this and experiencing what civic engagement can look like. The students and their allies are joining together to beg lawmakers to do something, anything, about gun violence in their schools. The shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, which took the lives of 17 students, has sparked students from the school, and across the country, to say, enough. No student should ever go to school fearing that they won't come home that day. No kids should see their classmates die. They want stricter gun control laws, and they want them now. Gavin wants these students to leave the March for Our Lives with inspiration to continue speaking out about the issues important to them, and, carry through the changes we want to see. This is a march, but it's also the spark for a much broader movement. That's what we really want to see, a kind of kickoff to get students involved, and to see the students going forward with more civic engagement. He, and other organizers, want to see these kids registering to vote, meeting regularly, and taking further steps of action. This is a cause close to Gavin's heart. When he was a teenager himself, there was a potential shooter threat every year at his high school in Kansas. Whether it was a threat on social media, or a rumor that just went around the student body, to people actually calling things into the school board, something like that would happen each of those years. Gavin told HL, What I would see in the week following that threat, it is that half of the student body would just be too scared to go to school. Going there and seeing half of the student body there and walking down empty hallways, it was just a really iconic image that's going to stick with me for a long time, he continued. It was just the embodiment of what gun culture looked like in our schools, even in just a subtle way. Even when there's not a shooting, it creates this fear in our students and in young people in general. That's an entire generation of people raised with that experience. That's going to shape our society in deeper ways that we already realize, and I think it already has. So, that's a big part of why I'm organizing this too, is I have those images that have stuck with me through the years, and I know that is not a unique experience. I've talked with a lot of students on board with this movement, and a lot of people my age have gone through similar stuff, something gets called in, a rumor starts going around, and the fear just causes people not to go to school. Threats sometimes result in an actual shooting, too, which is a huge tragedy. Gavin said, I guess there's a whole spectrum of how this affects students. There's a whole generation, of all ages really, have some sort of story to tell about how America's gun culture has affected them. Click here for more information about the March for Our Lives and the sister marches being held in your area. This interview has been edited for clarity.